Most of the provinces and territories had their warmest December. December 5th, golfing in Calgary. What a dream. Yeah, some celebrated, but for others, the blowtorch of a month was a cause for concern. You know, previous El Nino years were not this warm. You really would not be setting records if you didn't have that push from climate change underneath El Nino. The team at Climate Central have analyzed Canada's warm December, and they concluded that our changing climate made these December records twice as likely. What we're seeing is El Nino acting on top of this like baseline push of global climate change caused by humans, caused by burning fossil fuels that's been just pushing temperatures up. And then if you add an El Nino on top of that, that's going to push you into these record territories. The report uses the Climate Shift Index. This index helps people understand how climate change interacts with a location, making either warming or cooling more likely. What we're doing is we're looking at the, the temperatures on that day and how likely they are in today's climate. So how frequently we would expect them to occur in today's climate. And then we calculate how frequently they would have been, uh, they would have occurred in a climate without global warming. The rating shows how much climate change is impacting the temperature, with five being extreme. So level two means two times more likely, three, four, five times more likely. Across most of North America, winter is the fastest warming season. And Canada was not alone in its warm December. December 2023 was the warmest December on record globally. So it doesn't mean that every year, you know, that every December is going to be going to be warmer, but it just means that like we have this pressure on the system that's just pushing the, the system to create these warmer and warmer conditions uh, that we really haven't experienced before.